Both Robin Hood and Melvin Capital are finally facing a true investigation for market manipulation. Today I want to talk about how this is going to impact the market as a whole and how it's going to impact the AMC squeeze. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So, Unusual Wells tweeted saying, breaking news, Robin Hood must face market manipulation claims over the trading restrictions during last year's meme stock rally, per a US judge. Now this Reuters article says the stock trading platform Robinhood Markets must face market manipulation claims over restrictions it placed on trading during last year's meme stock rally, a US judge ruled on Thursday. Now interestingly it says the US District Court Judge Cecilia Altenega said in the ruling that investors in GameStop, AMC and seven other stocks can proceed with a proposed class action lawsuit alleging the restrictions artificially depressed share prices. Now this is the very same Cecilia Altenega that previously dismissed claims that the company and other brokerages illegally conspired to halt a short squeeze that was causing billions of dollars in losses for hedge funds that were betting on falling stock prices. And the same judge also dismissed retail investors claims that Robin Hood was negligent and breached its duty to customers. But now in the ruling published on Thursday, the judge denied Robinhood's motion to dismiss separate allegations that it engaged in market manipulation to artificially depress the price of the nine stocks by cancelling purchase orders, liquidating its customer shares and closing up positions. Obviously Robinhood had removed its user's ability to buy certain stocks for a day when its clearinghouse requirements ballooned to a $3 billion demand for cash. And Cecilia said while the restrictions alone would not support a claim for market manipulation, together with opaque and conflicting statements made to hide its lack of capital, the invents an intent on the part of Robin Hood to artificially depress share prices for its personal benefit. So weirdly enough, potentially Cecilia Altenega seems to have had a change of heart. Obviously last year she did dismiss these lawsuits, but now she's denying Robin Hood's filing to dismiss and she's bringing all of these lawsuits back. Cecilia now believes that Robin Hood did indeed manipulate the market in order to depress the share prices of GameStop, AMC and seven other stocks for their personal benefit and potentially for their benefactors personal benefit as well. And Laura of the Apes has actually read through these recent filings and it's noted that Vlad Tenev outright lied according to these court documents. The court documents say Tenev's statements also show not only what Robin Hood stood to gain, or rather avoid losing, but the deception used to protect these interests. Tenev admitted that if Robin Hood could not meet its capital requirements or its deposit requirements, then it was essentially dead. But when the media interviewed Tenev, he categorically denied any liquidity problems and insisted that Robin Hood implemented restrictions to combat market volatility. And those statements boil down to a rhetoric sleight of hand, if not an outright lie. Plantiffs allege that Robin Hood implemented the restrictions because it did not have capital to pay the collateral requirements spawned by the volatile market. So it seems the courts are now determining that Vlad Tenev did indeed outright lie. Obviously it's a year or two too late, but at least there's finally going to be some justice served. And not only that, but the US SEC is actually investigating hedge fund Melvin Capital Management. And guys, if you haven't already, be sure to sign up to Moomoo right now using the link in the description below. You can currently get 10 free stocks worth up to a whopping total of $25,000. Mumu is very easy to use, it's incredibly customizable, they've got tons of technical indicators and advanced charting tools. From Mumu's latest customer agreement, they officially state they do not sell your order flow to market makers like Citadel because they route their trades on their own, and therefore Mumu is brilliant for buying those AMC and GameStop shares. And Moomoo has also stated they will be handing out the Ape AMC dividend to investors on the 22nd of August as soon as the dividend is released. It says the US securities regulator is looking into Melvin Capital Management's risk controls and investor disclosures after the hedge fund was hammered by the meme stock rally last year. The SEC actually contacted the hedge fund's investors in recent months and is probing whether the company misled them when it raised money last year. For example, if these investors weren't told that Melvin Capital would be aggressively shorting companies, then obviously they've clearly been misled. 
And obviously, if these investors weren't told how Melvin Capital was planning to illegally short these companies as well, then again, still, they've been misled once again. When it's determined that Melvin Capital did indeed mislead these investors and didn't tell them their plans to illegally short companies, the SEC can obviously further investigate this illegal shorting. These investors have lost 85% of their portfolio or their investments, if not more, and obviously these investors are going to be disgruntled and upset from losing all of that money. Therefore, these investors are going to want to get to the bottom of exactly why Melbourne Capital lost so much money and how they were so heavily leveraged and how they took on such risk. Now, obviously, we know the answer to that because Melbourne Capital was illegally a naked shorting companies just like GameStop and AMC and many others. Obviously, when it's finally revealed that Melbourne Capital were indeed illegally shorting these companies, the SEC can indeed investigate further. They may say, Tom, but the SEC sides with these hedge funds, they're going to do a rubbish investigation, no one's going to end up in trouble, and nobody's going to go to jail. But don't forget, in all of these big high-profile lawsuits, there always has to be a poster boy or somebody to go to jail and take the punishment and a rap for all of these remaining hedge funds. It's obviously been said for some time that Melvin Capital and Gabe Plotkin would likely be this poster boy and would likely end up taking the rap and the punishment for all of these crimes. And as Ashley said, if we keep applying pressure, we just might be able to see a big one go to prison rather than a low-level employee that nobody knows. If we keep applying this pressure and we keep continuing to hound the SEC to investigate Melvin Capital and Citadel, we may just end up with Gabe Plotkin himself going to jail. Now I do think both of these investigations have a massive potential to overturn the way markets are currently working. If Robinhood goes down for market manipulation and Melbourne Capital goes down for misleading investors about naked shorting, it could potentially eliminate naked shorting as a practice once and for all. Especially if Cecilia Altenegra is now bringing back these allegations against Robinhood that she's previously dismissed, it seems like she may have had a change of thought and the whole system may be changing. Now I also wanted to quickly touch on my video from the other day when I spoke about how Ape would likely cause share recalls. And user of intellect tweeted saying, breaking news, lots of AMC share recalls are indeed happening right now. They said AMC shares on loan are in the steepest decline in history. Over the last month, month and a half, the AMC shares on loan have already fallen from 195 million shares all the way down to around 120. Now, obviously, this is only the legally self-reported short interest and doesn't include all of the illegal, non-reported naked shorting as well. But of the legally reported shares on loan, we can see that it's decreasing massively, suggesting that some shorts, the legally reporting shorts, are indeed covering and returning these shares. Now, obviously, the legally reported short interest is a tiny drop in the ocean compared to the total number of illegal shorting going on. But even just this small covering or these small returning of shares, say 50 million shares returned, has already caused AMC to run down from $12, $13 all the way to $27. Now, if this run can happen from only 50 million legally reported shorted shares being returned, then imagine what's going to happen when 500 million or 500 billion illegally non-reported shorted shares are closed out of uncovered and eventually returned. If only 50 million being returned can cause a run to $27, then 5 billion returned could cause a run to $2,700 or $10,000 or even higher. Now, on top of this, I also tweeted some time ago about the stock HKD or AMTD Digital and how it was likely a pump by these hedge funds to generate additional liquidity. But now CNBC has tweeted saying Loop Capital says Bed Bath & Beyond's comeback doesn't make fundamental sense and they believe the stock is headed back to a dollar. Obviously, Bed Bath & Beyond is very closely associated to GameStop, which is also very closely associated to AMC as well. Bed Bath & Beyond was one of the original meme stocks. And Romario tweeted saying, wait, you mean Loop Capital? The same Loop Capital that underwrote HKD or AMTD Digital's IPO. The Chinese company with no real revenue that was pumped from $16 per share all the way to $2,400 and above in the space of only a few days. I previously showed you this screenshot before of AMTD Digital being underwritten by Loop Capital Markets, the exact same company that believes Bed Bath & Beyond is a scam and should return back to a dollar. 
Clearly, Loop Capital Markets is indeed a short seller and is likely shorting these meme stocks like Bed Bath & Beyond, GameStop, AMC and many others, and is also indeed very likely heavily underwater. Therefore, Loop Capital Markets had to work with market makers like Citadel to IPO HKD or AMTD Digital and pump it up to generate billions in additional liquidity. It just goes to show how tight-knit and how closely linked these companies are, just like Loop Capital Markets, AMTD Digital, Citadel and many others. But guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always guys, be sure to ding that notification bell, because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.